Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is going to be for March 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation, get switched to roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies i suggest you to book a personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below uh <clears throat> excuse me um like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when i go live all right so <clears throat> excuse me so leo Tell me about Leo. What's going on with Leo in love? What's going on with Leo in love? Over energies for Leo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for March 2023. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Leo. Okay, we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Star card here. Um, so Page of Wands in the reverse, Four of Pentacles in the reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the star card here, Aquarius energy. You know, when I see the Page of Wands, this is an ind indication that someone here is not interested in, you know, giving a situation to, some, uh, uh, to, to somebody here. Yeah, whoever this is, we have someone here that could be focusing on their healing here with a star card. We have the Eight of Cups, yeah. So, Leo, I feel like this is your energy here, but you can switch the rules if you want. There is someone here that's walking away. There is someone here that's focusing on their healing here because I do feel like someone here is in a hopeless situation and trying to find hope here, okay? So, um, we have the Six of Cups. Seven of Wands, so Leo, you're so done with the past here, yeah. You're so done with someone here that has been you know, basically has been treating you like a toy. So I feel like, you know, there is that energy of with the death card here and the high priestess, you're really wising up. You know, you're finally letting this go. You're finally re removing yourself from a situation where you're not getting anything out of it. You know, the high priestess, Cancer, Pisces, energy, the death card here, Scorpio, energy, the star card. You know, the four of cups. Tell me about the eight of cups. You know, the eight of wands, six of cups. And the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles here. I do feel like whoever this individual is, I do feel like this person is trying to communicate with you and apologize, make you an offer, but I feel like you're rejecting it. You're pushing this away. You feel like it's a waste of time. You rather invest in a new beginning here yourself than actually have a new beginning with this individual here. I'm getting that you're so over this individual, whoever this is. I feel like this person has consistently come towards you for a reconciliation, okay? But I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, you're just ready to make a big change. A change where you're not giving this person chances anymore. Okay, um, tell me about the person that Leo is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo? For March 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. One more. Okay. Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Ace of Swords and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like this person wants to talk. Mm, I feel like this person has taken some time out to seek some sort of clarity, some sort of wisdom here, some sort of enlightenment. It seems like they're coming to a realization that, you know, you were their everything here, but... 
uh, you know, I feel like this is an individual that's really hard to trust because I feel like this person has told you the same thing over and over and over and over again. But what they've done is they've, bro they've broken your, pro they've broken their promises. Okay. This person has been non-committal. This person has been stringing you and stringing you along. Yeah. Look at, I, I feel like this is you, this queen of cups. Look at how it looks at, looks like on my table here. You have your back turned away from this king. You don't want anything to do with this king. You don't want to talk to this king. You don't want to look at this king. You don't want to, you know, you don't want this person's energies in or around you here, Leo. So I'm with the king of cups. And we have the chariot here, cancer energy. I do feel like this person's trying to move forward here with you or that they're trying or that they're choosing you here. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that this person has one foot in the door and one foot out the door. I'm not quite sure what this person wants, but I feel like they want you around. But I feel like their intentions are still unclear to them, you know? But I feel like they have maybe trouble voicing that, you know, telling you that. You know what, Leo, I'm not sure. Give me some time out to figure it out and I'll get back to you, you know? Uh, instead of, you know, playing games, yeah? The hangman. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy here, the Four of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, I feel like this is pretty clear that it's it's kind of like in the pudding here. This person's not ready for commitment here. Yeah, and I feel like that's why you have been in this energy, in this kind of space with this energy, uh, with this person here. If this person's trying to figure out what they're looking for, what they want, I'm not even quite sure like what this person wants in their life, you know? you know, what, you know, what their life's purpose is, you know, what they want to do and stuff like that, you know, where they see themselves in the future, that sort of thing. You know, I feel like it's important not to think too far ahead, but I feel like you should have at least kind of like a bit of a little general idea of like where you're going, you know what I mean? But I feel like this person's unsure. Yeah. Tell me about the outcome and advice here for Leo regarding their situation, love situation here. What else does Leo need to know, look out for, work on here? For March 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. With the Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords, we have the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Two of Wands and Eight of Swords here. You know, I, I feel like this person wants to communicate or that this person is watching you from afar on social media and maybe like... You know, one of the things I'm getting is that this person might masturbate to your pictures here. I do feel like this person might be kind of like sex positive here, okay? Or very sexual, Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, Page of Swords. You know, I feel like this person has played a lot of games here. Instead of being honest, Page of Cups, I feel like this person, this person will continue to drop the ball here. You know, this person's going to end up alone, you know, uh, if they don't, try and get their life straight, trying to figure things out, you know, because, uh, you know, when you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, and they feel like that's what this person's getting. I mean, they're creating their own suffering here by doing this. Two of Wands here and the Eight of Swords. This person's, like, stuck. This person's stuck. Three of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles here. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, you yeah. know. This t uh, they're definitely dealing with a lot of insecurities here. They're definitely playing the victim here a bit, you know? It's kind of like woe is me sort of energy. It's kind of like, oh my God, all this bad stuff happens to me. You know, nothing ever gets better. Well, of course it's not getting better. This person's not doing anything about it. Eight of Swords. And the Six of Wands, this person is really stuck in their ego here. Yeah, you know, this person's really stuck in their ego. But you know what? I, I feel like, Leo, you're, you're moving on from this, like I said. Yeah, you just can't deal with the childish behaviors here. I mean, you are aware that you have a very strong connection for with this person, but it's just not worth sticking around because, you know, you don't want to suffer. So, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.